Hey there, I'm Mark Bola Fox, and this is how we shot a music video inside an abandoned house in Costa Rica. but beautiful country of Costa Rica. As a matter of fact, I, I only recently moved to Vancouver. I, I moved to Canada two years ago. Growing up in Costa Rica in the neighborhood, uh, me and my sister, obviously, because we were kids, we used to go out a lot back when kids actually went out because we had no iPhones, no iPods, no iPads, no nothing. We only had a Wii, which we were only allowed to play for like, what, like an hour a week. Which honestly, looking back at it, it was great because we actually had a childhood and we went out and you know explored and we got hurt and have a lot of scars. Anyways, during one of those exploration uh, trips, we found a very interesting looking house. We found out it was abandoned, uh, so we explored it and um, I don't know, my first thought was, oh, huh, it would be really cool to, to shoot a music video here. Now I'm an adult and I wrote a song called Sons which is a song about the feeling of not being able to enjoy the company of somebody that you love, somebody that you trust, uh, whether because they're not there in your life anymore and you know, you, you just, you know, realize they're not gonna be there with you and for you or because they passed away. So it's, it's yeah, it's a very deep, dark song and I wanted to do a music video for it. So I talked to my friend Pedro, who is, is my childhood best friend. That guy and I have been through a lot of shit together, which is great. <laughs> so he went to film school here in Vancouver and uh, he's also very passionate about filmmaking and, and telling stories. And, and I'm like, hey man, I'm gonna be down in Costa Rica pretty soon. We should do a music video. Um, and he was like, as a matter of fact, I was about to ask you if you had a song for me because I'm dying to do a music video. I sent him Sons and Binary Miles, another song. But let's just focus on Sons for, for today. So um, I'm like, hey man, I have this idea to shoot Sons in this, in this abandoned house. And I sent him all the pictures that I had and everything. He was like, okay, let's, is that, is that, you know, safe to go there? I'm like, I have no idea, probably not, but who cares? Let's just, let's just do it, you know what I mean? Uh, like, nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna be you, me, a couple of cast members, and a camera, and that's it. We can shoot it in an hour tops. We go in there, shoot it, and we're out. No problem. <laughs> we had no time for scouting, because like I mentioned before, I was visiting Costa Rica, so we were kind of in a tight schedule. He was like, okay, man, I'm just gonna take your word for it. Because uh, obviously when you shoot some anything, basically, when this case a music video, you have to do a, a tech scout. You have to do a, a location scout to make sure that the location is number one, sh shootable, you know what I mean? Like there's no safety hazards in there. The, uh, number two, you're gonna make sure where you're gonna put the camera, the lighting you're gonna be using, what do you need for lighting, uh, uh, the blocking and everything and, and you kind of have to like write your script around the location sometimes and then well in this case the location was very important for the video so yeah but we didn't have the luxury of doing a location scout beforehand so basically Peter who uh, uh, was the DOP for this shoot uh, was trusting my word we we did a little casting I, think I was looking for uh, um, a girl and a guy for the video, but I wanted the girl to be, you know, obviously somebody who could act, but I wasn't necessarily looking for an actor. I have a friend who's a model, his girlfriend is also a model, and I'm like, would you guys be down to shoot the video? They're like, hell yeah, let's do it. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give you pizza and invite you to my to my pool at my house. <laughs> but it's gonna be a rough day. Just so you guys know, we're gonna get tired, we're gonna get sweaty, we're gonna get dirty, and they're like, we don't care. As long as we're doing a music video and we're getting pizza at the end of the day, we're fine. We decided on, on a shoot date, and when the time came, we shot the video. Because it is an abandoned house, you know, we're not really supposed to be there, we had to park the car a couple blocks away. Uh, and mind you, this is Costa Rica, okay? And I, and I know I've been mentioning that a lot, but it really plays into how hard it was to shoot this video, because it was like, and, and I'm, I'm using Celsius here, because number one, we're in Canada and we use Celsius here. Number two, I was born in Costa Rica and we use Celsius there. I don't know what's wrong with the Americans. Get your shit together. 36 degrees Celsius. 
that is is very it, yeah it's very freaking hot now this is not like florida hot no 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 no, no. this is i'm talking the tropics right it is humid so the hotter it gets the harder it is to breathe because the air gets super thick and it's very humid so you get very sweaty very fast your clothes get wet you get wet and sticky it's very uncomfortable so uh, uh we were carrying a camera and uh, uh we had no lighting we had no i mean natural lighting because there's no way for us to plug in the lights anywhere because the house has no power and uh it's i can't really take a battery up there you know it's it's Number one, our point of access is a little window that has shards of glass around it. There's no way we're gonna be able to carry a battery inside the house. We were walking there and I was wearing a lot of things. <laughs> um, and I was wearing a very heavy, a very heavy white leather jacket. And uh, and this was like not like one of those like Forever 21 H&M leather jackets. They said they're leather, but not really leather. They're, you know, pretty, they're not leather, okay? Uh, no, 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 this is an actual leather jacket. So it's heavy and it's very hot. So we go into the house, getting inside was a little bit of an issue because we had to climb up a, a window that, like I said, had shards of glass around it. And we had to get, so we were four people, right? So we had to get everyone inside. Uh, once we're in there, we can't really make any sounds because we don't really want to alert other people. The house is in a very bad state, like, there is glass all over the floor, like all over the floor. So no tripping, no nothing. If something falls on the ground, number one, you gotta make sure that whatever fell into the ground didn't, you know, break. Cause like I said, there's a shit ton of glass on the ground. And number two, you can't really, you know, if you cut yourself, hospital time, cause that glass is dirty. There is mud, there is dirt, there is dust everywhere. Um, the wood, because it's a house built, uh, uh, we think it was built in the 90s because it looks very 90s and, and there's a lot of wood, possibly even 80s because the house is very brown inside and it has a lot of wood and stuff. The wood is rotting, so so it smelled very bad. The house inside has a very, uh, it's, it's a disgusting smell. So we're talking rotting wood, wet wood, puddles of water, um, and possibly even dead animals because the house was reeking. It was terrible stench. Uh, now, once we're in there, I'm like, okay, let's just start shooting. Let's get it out of the way. So we have a shot. Uh, it's it's a crane shot. Well, not really a crane shot because we didn't really have a crane, but it was a crane shot. So I had Pedro run up the stairs, grab the camera, and started you know doing his camera work up there. And I'm singing, crouching down. And as I'm singing, I feel my cheek burning, like burning. This could mean only one thing: mosquito bite. Uh, I had a massive mosquito bite here. Like it was, it was massive. You can actually see like the early stages of the bite in one of the shots of the video. It is very funny. I only noticed it when I was editing the video. I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's a mosquito bite. Another thing that was funny was that there was nowhere for me to place the, the, the playback. So what I had to do is I had to take my phone. Um, and yeah, this is, as you can see, it's not as, it's big. And I'd put it into my jacket pocket and I just shoot that way. So yeah, we shot that video in about a, like the entire thing took us like an hour and a half. We were very fast with it. And we were jumping from like room to room, shooting everything. We we're kind of like just making stuff up, which is beautiful. It's it's one of those things that I really enjoy about creating stuff, especially music videos, um, which you can, you know, you have something in mind that you want to do. Um, you have a script. But once you get into the location, you start seeing things, you're like, huh, maybe I want to do that here. Maybe I want to change this. Maybe why don't we do this? Why don't we just do this shot here that was not in the script before? Why don't we do this? You know what I mean? So that's one of the things I love about it. You can just be spontaneously creative. And the last story of our exciting adventure <laughs> shooting in, in, in this abandoned house was there was a very cool mirror that we wanted to shoot. We wanted to incorporate that into the video uh, one way or another, and uh, we didn't really know how. So the mirror was like broken, like a little bit like split, right? One of us was like, wouldn't it be cool to shoot the girl smashing the mirror, but we shoot it 
point the camera at the mirror so you're like looking at the girl throwing a, uh, something and then you're like oh and then you know it breaks it, it's a very kind of like campy effect whatever but it was cool and we've never done it before so we wanted to do it but the funny thing was that the girl couldn't break the mirror <laughs> we shot it like 10 times and she would throw a brick at the mirror and the mirror just wouldn't break it just wouldn't wouldn't break wouldn't work uh, so, and we tried, and we tried, and we tried, and I was like, but do it harder, okay, get closer, get closer to the mirror, smash it, it's not gonna, you know, we, we tried doing it a lot of ways, we tried to get her, you know, getting her into an angle, we gave her different bricks for her to try, different sizes of rocks, nothing would break the mirror, and I was like, fine, I'll do it myself. So I grabbed the brick we were using, and I was like, okay, Peter, get in, get in front of the, of the mirror, start rolling, Camera rolling, okay, action, and I smashed the mirror. Uh, I literally put everything I had into that throw, uh, and the mirror shattered, and it looks beautiful. And this is the final result. interested in watching the full video, which I would assume you are, because that's literally what I talked about this entire video, uh, it is available now here on the channel on YouTube. You can just go ahead and watch it right now. If you like the song Sons, uh, you can listen to it in Spotify, Apple Music. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you if you like what you're seeing, if you like this type of videos and, and you're interested in watching more of my content, make sure to subscribe. It would really help the channel grow, helps me as an artist grow, and my uh, in, in, in your support means the world to me. Like seriously, yeah. Make sure to give my music a listen because that is that's what I do, and that's what makes me happy, and hopefully makes you happy as well. Anyways, bye bye. Have a good one. Shade of gray, so that's right.